Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's Sunday and I thought it'd be fun to do a like Sunday in my life and basically show you guys how I start out my morning and how I go into the night. I'm gonna be super productive during the day and then this evening I'm going to relax, unwind, and just kind of get everything ready for the week ahead. It's currently 6.42 a.m. I'm about to head to Starbucks, which is probably no surprise. Here's my super comfy look for Starbucks. It's been like cooling down in the mornings here, so I'm just wearing this oversized color box sweater, my faux leather leggings, and then these black leather like slides. Super easy and comfortable to study in. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. It is so cold outside. Not really, but to us Floridians it is. I gotta see what the temperature is. It is 62 degrees out. Where my sister lives, it's 58. So nice. I wish it would stay like this so bad because I really like being in cozy sweaters. Anyways, all right, let's do this. I got so much to do. Just got to Starbucks and I was trying to think about what I wanted to get for coffee this morning because I realized that I do my vlogs. I go to Starbucks probably like every vlog and I always forget to tell you guys what I order and then you like DM me on Instagram asking. I could just say it in my video. Yesterday, I got a chestnut praline iced coffee. I don't really do lattes a whole lot because I don't like a ton of milk. I want like the coffee taste and I always do less syrup so if you want to get the same drink as me but you like your drink sweet then you might want to just do like the normal amount of syrup I cut mine in half anyways today I think I'm gonna try the toasted white mocha because all their holiday drinks are back if you didn't know so I'm gonna get a grande iced coffee with two pumps of white chocolate mocha and almond milk Just got finished at Starbucks. I picked up some of these Bontem bagels. I haven't had one of these since like they first came out. So I thought I'd get some because I'm kind of hungry. I didn't really eat breakfast this morning, just a banana. I am back home now and I'm about to just sit on the couch and finish the recorded lecture. I have lecture for AMP on Mondays, but you guys already know I was not here last week. I was in Gainesville, so I missed the lecture. But luckily my professor does recorded lectures online. So I'm just kind of catching up on the notes and basically just going over that chapter because I have a quiz on Tuesday for it. On a side note, I am so tired of all the fall decor in my house and I cannot wait to clean the house and take it all down and put up Christmas stuff because I'm in like full-blown Christmas mode now. So I already told Chad next Sunday, so a week from today, we are going to decorate the house for Christmas and I have so many decorations for Christmas, so our whole house is gonna be transformed. I can't wait. Got my recorded lecture right here. This is my setup. This is kind of what I do when I'm just listening to like the recorded lecture, even in class. I just like highlight and I make notes about like what he says while he's talking. A little candle over there and I got my water right here because I'm trying to hydrate today. So I haven't got a chance to show you guys yet but earlier this week I got my order in from TIJN eyewear. So I got two pairs of glasses. One of them is blue light and the other one is prescription so I thought I would show them to you guys. These glasses were sent to me complimentary for this video but I'm really excited to show you because they have like the best, I think everyone on YouTube uses their blue light blocking glasses. So first I'll show you guys the blue light blocking ones. So these are non-prescription, just blue light blocking, and they remind me of Harry Potter glasses. They are so cute. They're super lightweight and delicate, and they don't have like that blue purplish like glare that a lot of blue light glasses give. So that's what I really like about this brand in particular in comparison to other blue light blocking brands. I just hate the reflection that a lot of blue light glasses give you, and these do not do that. And the other pair I got are my prescriptions, so you can get prescription eyeglasses from them. I'll have both of these linked below. These are just black circular frames, and and they're gold on the sides and you can see they have like a little bit of a texture to it they're so pretty and I love the way they look on so these are the Emma frames and this one actually has my prescription I love them I'm not typically a round glasses type of person which is why when I decided to work with them I was like I'm gonna try something new and go for some round frames but I do like how these ones look they are really cute and Obviously they help me see because I'm very blind without them. And these come in a bunch of different colors. So you can get them in the tortoise, in the brown, in this color, which I really like. So if I were to get these again, I would totally get them in this color. I just think this is really pretty. 
and then you can get them in clear as well which they're super popular in the clear the gold on the sides looks really good and then these ones are called the hank in polished black these also come in a bunch of different colors but as soon as i put them on i can immediately see that the screen that i'm looking at on my computer is just like less harsh it kind of just like fades it out a little bit and these are definitely very different unique kind of like chick but I could see myself wearing these with my contacts if I want it to like spruce up an outfit make it look kind of cute might take these with me when I go to Starbucks early in the morning to study because I do stare at a computer screen for a while and it's really important to protect your eyes from that blue light but yeah I'm gonna link both of these for you guys so if you want to check out TIJ and eyewear then you can just go to the link in the description box I am making my second coffee of the day and I'm gonna take my medical term exam so I just got this peppermint mocha creamer yesterday. I think they sell this year round, but I only ever drink it around the holiday season because it just feels right. Okay, I'm about to take my online medical term exam. So it covers chapters 12 through 17. So I just wanted to show you guys like a little tip that I use. If you take an online class and you're allowed to use like your book and everything, um, I use post-it notes and I just cut them up like this into like little tabs and I stick them to each chapter so that I can flip through to the chapters quicker while I'm taking the exam because it's timed. And I usually, for medical terms specifically, will label, where is it at? These areas for each chapter because they tell you like the combining forms, prefixes, suffixes of each of the words for that chapter. So like this one's urinary system. So like that way I can just like quickly refer back to it. Makes things go smoother when you're taking a time test. finished my exam literally missed one are you kidding me so frustrating so my original plan was to go to Ulta today and pick up liquid eyeliner and my eyebrow pencil and dry shampoo but then I just found my Sephora VIB coupon and this is only good until tomorrow so I think I'm just gonna go to Sephora instead because I want to use this coupon and I don't have a coupon for Ulta I can't get only downside is I can't get my dry shampoo from Sephora because they don't sell it there, but I can get Sephora's brand liquid eyeliner, which my sister uses and says it's so good. And right now I pay like $23 for a Stila liquid eyeliner, and I don't really know if it's worth it because the last one I bought, I had it for like two weeks and it already dried up, which is really frustrating because usually I can at least get like a month or two out of it, and it didn't even last me, not even two weeks, so... I was pretty mad about that, so I was thinking about trying a different eyeliner anyway, so I'll just try out the Sephora one. Just got out of Sephora, I'm so proud of myself. I was literally in and out of there because I have too much to do to be shopping around. Even though there's like so many people out right now, I think everybody's like getting a head start on their Christmas shopping. I'll do a little mini haul when I get home and show you guys what I got. They also gave me my birthday gift, which I thought it was too late for me to like redeem that. And she told me I could still get it. I guess it's like a month after your birthday, like up to a month after she said. So I got my birthday gift too, so. I'm back home now. I thought I'd do a little Sephora haul and show you guys what I got. It's really not much, but but I'm just happy because I got it for so cheap because of my coupon. So this is the birthday gift, which I'm super excited about because I've never tried any of Drunk Elephant's products because I think they are outrageously priced, but this was free for my birthday, so I'm excited to try it. It's the Jelly Cleanser and the Polypeptide Cream. I always hear amazing things about Drunk Elephant, but I just can't reason with spending that much money. So maybe it'll be amazing and I'll go and buy the full size version. Probably not. I also got a face mask because I'm going to take a bubble bath tonight and I thought it'd be nice to try a new face mask. I was going to just do like a sheet mask, but then I saw this banana cream one and the packaging looked really cute and I'm thinking it's going to smell super good too, so I thought I would try this. And I also got the Sephora Under Eye Cream. This one has hyaluronic acid and it just says it's the Instant Anti-Fatigue Eye Moisturizer. The one that I use right now, I don't have it in here right now. It's by like CeraVe. It's kind of similar to this, so I thought I would just try this. I always hear so many good things about this Sephora brand products, so I got lots of Sephora stuff. 
Told you guys I was gonna try out their liquid eyeliner instead of the Stila one that I normally get that's like 20 something dollars. So I got this one in the shade Little Black Dress and it actually looks exactly like the Stila one. This is the Stila one that I typically use that's like 20 something dollars and it dried out in like two weeks. I'm so mad about that. Okay, and the last thing I got, which I normally always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz to fill in my eyebrows. That's the one I have right now that is completely out. And I decided since I'm trying this for eyeliner that I would try the brow pencil too because this is only like $14 whereas this uh, Anastasia one is way more expensive. So I thought, you know, it's really like kind of worth it to try something a little cheaper because if it ends up being great, then I'm going to save money over time by getting this one instead of paying for this one. So hopefully these Sephora products are really great and then I just end up saving money for now on. But that's everything I got from Sephora. I have Deep House Relax playing and now I'm about to work my way through this entire math study guide, which I've written all over this one, but I have a blank one and I'm basically just going to attempt to do it all by myself. This one is really difficult for me just because all of the word problems, even though they're really not difficult, but for me they are because I just see words in math and I freak out. So this little weekly dry erase board just came in the mail. I found it on Amazon for $5 and it's super cheap, but it's honestly like perfect for what I need it for. I just wanted something that I could reuse every week to write our dinners down because I always like print out a template that I found online, but I feel like I waste so much paper. So I thought this would be a lot better. I just finished writing our meals down for the week and this is literally perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys if you want this because it's seriously perfect to plan your meals out on. And it's magnetic so it sticks right to your refrigerator. FaceTiming Chad and I just showed him our new little weekly meal planner. He really likes it. He's not surprised that a delivery came from Amazon today though. It's a daily thing. I've gone through pretty much my entire college algebra study guide with the exception of the questions that I don't know how to do and I'm so annoyed because I went over all of these with the TA over the week and I knew how to do everything of course when I was with her and now I'm looking at it by myself and there's not a whole lot on the study guide I don't know how to do like I just circled in pink the things I'm like mm, don't remember that I send pictures to my sister she might remember how to do this and if she does then I'll get help now but I signed up for a tutoring appointment on Tuesday like right before my exam so I can just get like last minute questions answered now I think I'm going to take like 20 minutes and just plan out my week in my planner so that way that's all done. I work, I think I told you guys I work 12 hours tomorrow, but then I don't work the rest of this week, I don't think. So it'll be a pretty academic week, but I'm hoping I can do a lot of vlogs this week because last week I was a little MIA. I think I only uploaded once last week. It's quite a while later. I just got off the phone with my grandma and it ended up turning into like an hour conversation because she hadn't heard anything about my heart yet. So I just kind of like filled her in on everything. It's like basically everyone in my family never thought that my heart issue that I was born with was ever going to turn into anything. And so it's kind of like a shock for me and my grandma and my mom. It is what it is. I'm dealing with it. I'm gonna start making dinner at five because I wanna have an early dinner. I didn't really eat much for lunch, so that's the plan. I planned out everything for my whole week and now I'm gonna go back to studying for anatomy and physiology because my two quizzes are on Tuesday. So I think I have a good understanding of hypertonic and hypotonic in terms of like where water moves in and out of the cell depending on the solutes and solvents and all that stuff. So hypertonic, the cell will shrink because water is moving out. Hypotonic, water moves in and the cell will swell. Took me a long time to understand a very simple concept. 
sitting outside right now. I had to let the dogs outside before I make dinner and it feels so good outside. It's like kind of chilly. It would be the perfect night for a campfire. Chad and I were talking about having a little campfire here soon, maybe later this week. So we have like a cold front, even colder than it is right now coming on Tuesday. I am making dinner right now for myself and I decided I would actually cook tonight. So I'm doing a white fish. It's cod, if anyone cares. And I'm gonna also saute some broccoli. Add a little bit of olive oil, some garlic salt. This is what my fish looks like. I added some butter on top. And I just poured myself a glass of this Honeycrisp apple cider from Target. It's so good. Like you can see how much I've drank and we just got it yesterday. Just finished eating dinner and I am so proud of myself for actually cooking because I've talked about it before. Like you guys know when Chad's on shift, I have a major tendency to either not eat at all or just like have a bowl of cereal for dinner or like a frozen meal, which is unhealthy and kind of gross to be honest with you. So it felt good to just like cook a small portioned meal just for myself. Now I'm just sitting on the couch letting my food digest and then I'm going to take a bath. The rest of this Sunday evening is going to be me having self-care face mask i'm gonna read my book and take a bubble bath it just sounds so good and i have epsom salts too and they have coconut oil i don't know i'll show you guys it's pretty good and i gotta get my work uniform ready for tomorrow and my lunch box all of that yep gonna do that now here's the epsom salt that i use it's coconut oil so it's like really nourishing i don't know i think it's from walmart bathtub is almost full I'm about to put on this banana cream face mask i'm so excited to try this it says it's a five minute mask so i will probably just take it off while i'm in the bathtub i'm gonna smell it hopefully it smells like banana cream oh my gosh it smells like a laffy taffy take off my makeup really quick Why did I not put my hair up first? That would have been really smart of me. It's been a long day. A little bit more under my eye. I have to go wash my hands. Hey Siri, set an alarm for five minutes. It feels really, really good and very like creamy, like it says in the name. <laughs> And it smells super good too. I'm really excited to see like how it feels when I take it off. I am ending the vlog with a face mask on though because I'm gonna go jump in the bathtub and then after that I'm gonna edit and try to get this vlog uploaded tonight. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.